Only on five, a medical mystery involving a Bay Area baby, her mother, and a team of doctors. It turns out the baby's case is the first in the world to document a possible link between the virus and a rare condition. Two months ago, as passengers evacuated from the Grand Princess in Oakland before the Bay Area issued any stay at home orders, a medical mystery was unfolding in Santa Clara County. It was a regular morning. It's March 10. We woke up and she was hot. Six month old baby Zara had a high fever. Her mother, Mahara, called the pediatrician. They ruled out COVID 19 because of the uh, there's no travel history or anything like that. Zara's fever persisted. She also developed a horrible rash, red eye, and dry, chapped lips. Her mother brought her to the urgent care center at the Sutter Health Palo Alto Medical Foundation in Mountain View. She was crying pretty much the entire exam, and even when mom was holding her to her chest, she was hard to be calmed. Dr. Evie Wong examined the baby. She did have a pretty significant red rash all over her body from, you know, her chest, arms, legs, all the way down. Dr. Wan suspected Kawasaki disease, a rare illness that causes blood vessels to be inflamed, most commonly in young children. So that's what I admitted her to the hospital initially for, is for treatment for Kawasaki. Zara would be treated at Lucille Packard Children's Hospital, Stanford. But since she had a fever, it was protocol to test her first for COVID-19. No, this is not COVID-19 because there is no possibility. I was keeping her safe. But then the results. I was pretty shocked. I was definitely pretty shocked. I was like, how is this possible? Zara tested positive for the coronavirus. I was surprised and uh, a little bit apprehensive about uh, walking into the hospital and caring for a patient who at that time was the first patient at Stanford Children's to test positive for COVID-19. Dr. Vina Jones is a pediatric hospitalist in charge of Zara's case. While there's no known cause for Kawasaki, it may be triggered by a virus. But COVID-19? She did have COVID-19, um, but I can't tell you for sure that the two are related. Um, I can tell you it's possible that the virus triggered the Kawasaki disease. Uh, but I can't tell you that definitively. In the hospital, the baby was successfully treated with an IV of anti-inflammatories. No more fever, rash, or red eye. I was pleased to see that she actually looked quite well. But since the baby was COVID positive... How do we safely discharge her home? Then I need a plan <laughs> to how to uh, go home. Because when you are going home and you already know there are three, three people at home and my other kids are there. They haven't seen their mom for three days and, um, and my husband is there. And, and so it's, it's, it wasn't easy. Both Zara and her mother would need to be quarantined for 14 days. So we stayed very positive. We tried to be brave and positive. They succeeded. No one else in the household ever tested positive. To this day, how was baby Zara infected? This is still a mystery to us. Zara's case is now part of medical history. Dr. Jones and her colleagues wrote a report to alert other clinicians. From Zara's mom, a message during this pandemic. It's not over. Stay home and be safe. Love your kids. Hug your kids. They are your word. And um, uh, just take it seriously. Indeed. Well, Kawasaki disease can impact the blood vessels in the heart, making it very dangerous. But so far, Zara's heart is fine. Her mother tells us that she's actually doing quite well and her issues have been completely resolved.